Good morning, Miss Wilde. Thank you for coming in today. Please do take a seat. I'll be with you in just a moment. Dr. Marcus DeVere, I've been asked to check over and examine your hands and wrists today. I know you had some trouble about six months ago when you had a fall and you fell onto your hands, causing some of the ligaments to stretch. Yes. We did get a call from you to say that your hands feel much better now. So today's visit is really just a follow-up, if you like, to make sure there are no problems with certain movements. And I'll also be checking other areas of your hands as well. Okay. It'll involve me going over the look, feel, movement, function, and some special tests as well. Does all that sound okay? Yes. Yes. If you feel uncomfortable or any discomfort at any time throughout this hand examination, then let me know and I'll see what I can do. Just quickly, are you in any pain of any kind today? No. Thank you. I'll just get this pillow. to start by getting you to put your hands on the pillow for me. I'm going to check both of your hands and wrists to see if I can find any abnormalities or changes to your nails, fingers or knuckles. Let's have a look to see if there's any muscle wasting, scars, redness, swelling, nail changes, pitting, and so on. Could you turn your hands over for me now? That all seems fine. Do you have any pains in the joints of your hands? Okay, let's do some hand movements next. So if you could turn your palms face up like this. Now, could you bring your wrists up as far as you can? Are you okay doing that? Yes. I'm going to push a little more on this wrist here. Any discomfort as I do this? Uh, no. No? Fine. And the other wrist? Again, any discomfort? No. Okay. Brilliant. You can relax your hands now. Next, I'd like you to lift your arms up like this for me. Great. I'm just going to check down there like that.
that's great. Put this arm down, but keep this one here, elbow on the pillow. I'm just going to feel here. It's the little bone at the base of your thumb. I want to check it's in the right place. I'm going to push somewhat and exert a little pressure and move your hand like this and to that side. A bit of side to side. Left to right movement. Very similar to waving your hand but much slower. I'm listening and feeling for any click clack sounds and noises on your joints as I do this. Feels good. Okay. While in this position, I'm going to get a look at the back of your hand, more so the wrist cartilage, just here, to see if there are any tears or problems. So I'm just going to hold you there and your hand here and I'm just going to push. It may feel a little uncomfortable just for a few moments. As I apply some pressure. Okay. Let me keep it here like this as I'm going to flex your hand down and up and down and up to see if it is causing any pain. Does that hurt? Fabulous. Thank you. I'm going to have a feel of your hands next, so if you could turn your hands over I would like to press on your hands to see if I can feel anything out of the ordinary. I'm checking for any muscle wasting or thickening of the tissue in the palm of your hand. I'll just check the temperature of your joints and compare them. That all seems fine. If you could turn your hands over again for me. I'll just check the fingers on this side for any joint distortion, twists, buckling or misshaping. Let me know if there's any pain at all. As good as can be expected. We're going to turn the palms face down now. I'm going to have a squeeze of your joints. Do let me know if you're in pain when I do this. And the other 
other side. All fine there. Right, let me squeeze your knuckles over the top. Any trouble with that? No. Okay, thank you. Next, could you make a fist for me? And open your hands to relax them. Thank you. Now, from here, I'd like you to take your fingers to the side, like this. And turn them to the other way. And the same for the other hand. Turn them to the one side for me. And back again. And to the other side. And return them. Keep your hands face up still and your fingers spread. And use your thumb to touch each finger for me. Let's have a little look now with the palms face down. Now again, turn your fingers to the left and then to the right for me. Does that feel okay to you? Mm. No pain? Uh, no. Brilliant. Next, can you put your palms together like this for me and press them together. Raise your elbows as far as you can. Any pain at all? Yeah. Okay. Let's flip your hands over now and we'll do it the other way. Same thing. Any discomfort? No. That's great. You can rest your hands now. We'll continue with the hand movements. Let me take your hand and wrist and control the direction. We'll go forwards and back and forwards and back. Let's look at the other hand. Again, we go forwards and back and forwards and back. Thank you. We're going to test some of the nerve sensations in your hands next. Could you connect your fingers and thumbs together like this to form a circle. My fingers will now connect with yours. Don't let me pull them through. Great, thanks. Let's use this piece of cotton wool next. I'm going to ask you to keep your eyes closed for me while I lightly place this cotton wool on various points of your hands. I want you to tell me if you can feel it and if it feels the same sensation on both sides. Okay. Close your eyes for me now, please. Yes. 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 Turn your hands. 
hands over for me, while still keeping your eyes closed. Yes, 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 yes. Was that the same for both hands? Yes. Thank you. Lift your hands up a little for me, please. Spread your fingers wide and stop me from pushing them in. Thank you. I'd like you to do a pinch grip for me on this piece of paper. I want you to hold it with your thumb and your first finger, like this. So take it between your fingers and don't let me pull it away back from you. Next, can you put your fingers like this? Now, stop me from pushing them down. Keep your hands like this, as I will repeat what I've just done, but this time I'm going to put my hands underneath yours and attempt to push them upwards. So don't let me do that. Okay, wonderful. You can put your hands down now. Let me get your hand and move your fingers. And the other side. You can put your hands down now. Could you bring both hands back for me? I'm going to put a small amount of pressure on your hand. Does that feel okay? Yes. Brilliant. I'm just going to do it with your other hand. Any trouble there? No. No? Okay. I'm just going to press gently on your nail bed for each finger and release. Okay. I want to make sure the blood flow is good. Next, I'd like to feel your pulse. No trouble there. I want 
to test your hand grip strength. So can I ask you to grip my fingers as tight as you can? A bit harder. Harder still. As strong as you can. Go on, a big effort. That's great. You can relax. I want to test other movements in your hands. So I'd like you to pick up this coin using your thumb and your index finger, like this. Can you do that for me, please? And can you try with the other hand? No trouble at all. Next, can you turn your hands face up again for me? I'm going to apply a little pressure just there on those fingers and I'd like you to bend that first finger for me. Okay, and can you do the same again with your middle finger and lastly the ring finger. That's great. We'll do the other hand as well. Same again. Can you bend your first finger? Great. And your middle finger. And your ring finger. And lastly, if you want to, try your little finger. Brilliant. I'm going to tap on your wrists and I want you to tell me if you feel any pain. No. Okay, we'll try the other hand. Uh, no. Nothing at all. Marvellous. Put your hands up like this with your thumbs pointing up. Stop me pushing them down. That's great. Now can you try and push my thumbs down? Okay, next could you put your thumb into your palm and put your fingers around like so. I'm going to move your wrist, let me know if there's any discomfort. No. And we'll swap hands. No. No pain, fabulous. That concludes our hand exam today, Miss Wilde. Everything seems to have recovered very well indeed since that fall onto your hands some months ago. Of course, over time, you might want to keep a, an eye on things. Okay. And should anything present itself, then don't hesitate to contact the clinic and I'll only be too happy to see you again. Have you got any concerns or questions about today's visit? No. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yes. Cheerio now.